two attacks off with the Shadow Walk. It's a very, it's a mark of a, a competent Bounty Hunter player and he's doing well in lane. He might even go for Simba here if he's not careful. He doesn't oh. have the regen ready. He's gonna die here probably. First One more attack. Sure you can. First, First blood going in the way of maybe. Not necessarily getting killed, but at least out farming. But what he does have is oh, these two stacks. Oh, Simba in the bottom yeah, lane, the river. Oh my god, sure you can. Okay, for an initiation very shortly. Of course, the magic damage is not going to do anything to Huskar, but if they have enough burst, perhaps. And it seems as if PR actually knows what the hell's going on here. But they can't really because of the smoke. They, they don't really want to go on Huskar, do they? They're going to oh, initiate the their last off. He's going to get blown apart here, I think. Right. Or maybe not. Oh! We have the heal. Uh, he's not going to be. This unfortunately only a level one inner vitality. I mean, PA destroys oh, Huskar Lake. Yeah. Definitely want this bounty. Uh, they have two invis here. Oh, there's initiation from Huskar. S4 cannot do anything about it. Turn up all your Meepos tanky. Now he's really strong in fights. Oh, oh we're gonna initiation on it. If they can take him out before the grave, this will be pretty big. He gets the grave off just in time. He's actually just gonna run the opposite direction to force everybody to waste their time killing him. Meaning it's, it's a good item in general. Just resetting, buying time. Uh, helping to get in range to heal or repel whoever oh, he needs. Lordy. Oh, lordy. The Treant, pretty much in no man's land, gets the last right click on Quap. They're going to dust him. This might end up netting a kill, but this is certainly worth it. He actually gets Grave very early in the order goes to follow. Huskar in the meantime doing a little bit of magic damage. Big Daddy had the repel, but he put it on Puppy, so he's probably going to die in the end. He does expect this to be a tower push in the mid lane. He's pushing faster, at least for now. The, the tower at half HP. So question is, who gets the better trade here? Oh, we have initiation possibilities, but no! Huskar's gonna turn on Simba! Batrider getting extremely low, he get healed. So far. 7,000 gold and 4,000 experience, and now that they took these towers, the Bounty Hunter strat can really start oh. paying off. Oh my god, they just dusted, it was just oh, out of range. Yeah, so he doesn't know this is happening. Uh-oh. Feel safe because of the dust. Sentry oh, being put sentry. down. Huskar initiates. Kuroki, half HP, but the repel comes out. Meepo in the meantime is going to focus on Puppy. This should be a relatively easy kill, and it is. Overgrowth though is going to catch Kuroki, so the repel doesn't even matter at this point. He blink, blink pushing out a little bit. He can get in this anytime he wants. You see the defensive usage of the Dazzle ultimate. There's initiation. Bursted down is Dazzle. Get bursted, as Sinner would say. Huskar in the meantime, he's taking quite a bit of damage from Kuroki. Is it enough to take him out? Remember the burst? Oh! We have. Omni Knight oh, activated, Kuroki able to take out Huskar pretty much no problem. He was at quite low HP to begin with, and he's going to focus now on the Meepo. Just needs one crit, gets it. Aegis is used, we'll get back to that in a moment. Triant Protector, bottom of the barrel like we talked about. And Kuroki, he's actually getting slow. It goes through Repel, he gets healed, he's going to blink out to his teammate. And now they're just kiting Meepo. He can't do anything about this. First damage is there. Yep, Batrider has the full arsenal of his mobility that he needs, Blink Dagger and the Force Staff. Even Puppy has a a luxury Ghost Scepter to prevent any damage coming from physical no standpoint. They're smoked up. Uh-oh. They might find some Frostbite initiation there from Batrider. Lasso. Sonic Wave's going to completely whiff. And actually, the Grave is there to save me, but he's out just in time. So this fight actually not going too well for Secret as Puppy... Half HP pops the Ghost Scepter, S4 in the meantime, also at half HP. Huskar able to finish off the Batrider, but gets burst down easily to Kuroki. There's a double damage rune there for him if he wants to take it, but doesn't feel like he needs it. Gonna go for the kill. Grave, or er, Shallow Grave, I should say. Oh! Again, here, but a burst damage from Meepo! Kuroki extremely low again! But the Omni Island, remember, it doesn't regenerate, so only gonna block physical damage. Kuroki dodging left and right. S4 is gonna get out. If they can get out, this will be huge for them. Fortifications use Huskar and Meepo are gonna be pushing the opposite lane, though. Puppy's gonna be the only one to try to defend. Who's gonna blink first? Well, we have some blinks from Secret, it seems. I'm gonna TP back. Sonic Wave on a bunch of Meepos. Simba in the meantime taking a ton of damage. Looks like he will fall. No! Omni Knight's gonna keep him alive for a little bit. It's gonna be a trade, a one for one. They lose the tier three. The question is, what's happening in the other lane? The tier three is also lost. Omni Knight. He's gonna keep Kuroki. Kuroki's taking no damage. He hasn't even used Satanic yet. He hasn't used Aegis. Surprised he's not just going balls deep on this one. But Meepo is back in town. Look at this damage, Kuroki. This heal does nothing at this point of the game. Aegis is used. He'll pop back up, look for Meepo to just focus on him yet again. He has the Satanic. Oh, doesn't God. have time to Don't use it though. This. Disappearing. How did Big Daddy get out of that? He actually got out. A couple minutes, we'll know the timer on that. As oh, Kuroki's cool. getting caught out, he gets forced after. Oh, he's using Satanic. Is the he's not gonna get any crits yet though? So Meepo's gonna destroy him. 90 second cooldown for him. He might be forced to buy back very shortly. Puppy in the meantime easily gets killed. Sonic Wave used to be able to take out the Bounty Hunter. But that's a one-man Sonic Wave pretty much. Huskar. 
trying to arm it. PA did buy back, able to take him out with ease. That is a buyback. So what they need to do. The max time is a hundred. So and you get added whatever. So I don't, I don't know what it's exactly is. It can be very very long. About two minutes is the max. Trian. Oh, BKB popped by S4. Didn't even know he had that, but he does apparently. Graves can be used now on Trian. There's the initiation onto Dazzle. You're not going to have any more Graves for this fight. He is donezo. He has buyback though, along with Huskar, and they buy back into the game. But Rain Track is taken out. Not the hugest loss, obviously. And Secret's going to be forced back now. They got away with gets hexed or not. And if he opens with BKB and then jumps in, he's pretty much free to fight. Oh, this is the last thing they wanted. Dazzle. Can he get up Grave? Orchid is there. Oh, overgrowth. Oh my god, two shot, three shot onto Trian Protector Sonic Wave. This is not a good fight. Meepo in here. Use it. Somebody, no, it's not a ghost type. He might actually go down before he TPs. He does. He dies in Fountain. Three dead for PR. Disastrous fight. Huskar getting kited. They're not going to be able to take out the bounty hunter, but honestly, how much does that really matter? Huskar looking to go balls deep. Frostbite is up. If they can catch up. This is a huge kill because he just bought back as well. Orchid gonna silence him. They're just gonna continue to slow him. They need some right click damage. Where is PA when you need her? She's in the base. Enemy base. Oh, let's go! <laughs> yes! So for Mega Creeps, if they go for Throne, looks like they're gonna be going for Throne here. With that Assault Curious. They're going from... for both, it seems. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't know why not. They have time for everything, so. True that. Cheshire Cat gonna try to do something about it, but the Overguard is actually up again, surprisingly. Not gonna be nearly enough. Meepo does buy back. How much can he do? Not a whole lot of damage to S4 from the poof because of the BKB, but takes him out with the right clicks with ease. What? That is Mega Creeps, ladies and gentlemen. So, Secret. Looks like they're gonna win this game. GG's called out from PR. Really entertaining game, I have to say. Well played from both sides. The mistakes from PR cost them in the end, but their lineup, not sure what this pause is about. Their lineup, very refreshing. But then again, that's kind of what this mode's all about. This is the only time you're going to see a first pick Meepo in the, the rest of the year, that's for sure. <laughs> but it was a good Meepo pool, I think. And he, I think he did fairly well, or maybe even very well. It was just, it was a couple of, uh, of decisions. It was decision making they lost on. I think their laning play went really well. Uh, their individual plays were also good, but some miscommunication here and there, and when it came to the really big decisions, Secret kind of always came out on top.